In chapter 6, we are looking at medication labels and some basic calculations. So when you're looking at a medication label, there are several things that you want to, to know how to read. The first, of course, would be the name of the drug, which you find right here. Um, this is the trade name and oftentimes there are a number of different trade names for a generic name and the generic name is always found uh, in parentheses usually the generic name is uh, in lowercase letters in this particular case that's not true but you'll always find generic and trade name you need to know those names you can tell this is the trade name because it's got the uh, registered mark right here. The other thing on the labels is how many tablets are in the bottle and that you find right here tells us that there are 100 tablets in this bottle. Also who it's manufactured by you find that here. You want to know the dosage strength. So the dosage strength is found right here 0 0.3 milligrams and it's also found over here tells you that each tablet contains 0 0.3 milligrams of nitroglycerin another important um, feature of the medication labels is going to be how you store it which is right there sorry about my drawing um, so let's look at another label Here we have another label. I want you to identify the trade name. Hopefully you picked Prineville and look for the generic name right here, Lisinopril. You can see that it's in the parentheses. Now look for <clears throat> how many tablets are in this particular container. It's going to be a hundred tablets. And then each tablet, what is the dosage strength? That's found right here. Five milligrams. So your storage information is right here. And it's distributed by Merck. So let's just um, look at look at a problem right here real quick. If you've got um, five milligrams in each tablet and you want to give a dosage of 10 milligrams, I need to get a stylet. So, uh, then uh, how many tablets are you going to give? It's going to be two tablets and I'm going to show you, that's of course easy, we can do it in our head, but I'm going to show you a um, easy formula in uh, a future slide. Okay, here's one more. Find the generic name for this drug. Propranolol. Whoa, that's not supposed to be happening. Okay, propranolol. Hopefully you found that. The trade name. Look for that. Enderol LA. The LA stands for long acting capsule. How many capsules are in this particular container? Yes. 100 capsules. Hopefully you're answering as we go along. <clears throat> this drug is put out by Acromax Pharmaceuticals and um, your storage information is a little more difficult to find on this label right here. And then ha what is your dosage strength for this particular uh, capsule. Yes, 
60 milligrams per capsule. So let's do another simple one. Um, if you wanted to give, let's say, 180 milligrams, you've got 60 milligrams in each capsule. 180 divided by 60 would be three capsules. Now, some things to remember about capsules and tablets. Uh, typically, here's some key points. And my thing won't write. Okay. Here's some key points. And I'm writing with my finger. That's why it looks like kindergarten writing. Um, one half to three tablets is typically a normal dosage. So if you do a calculation and you come up with, say, you're supposed to give five tablets or capsules, you need to question yourself and redo that um, calculation. Um, another thing is on your long acting or it may say ER for extended release. Those cannot be divided. That's awful writing. I am sorry. I will get a style ad as soon as I can. Um, let's see. Uh, another thing about tablets, oftentimes they are scored which means there is a line down the middle so that they can be divided in half so that you can accurately divide those. And on all meds you need to check the expiration date. You don't want to be giving anything that's ex expired. Now, we're not always giving tablets or capsules. Sometimes we're giving oral elixirs, um, and so we have to use the proper container. This, of course, is a medicine cup, and you'll see usually they're labeled on two sides of the cup, and you can see here the um, number one side, and then this is number two side. You don't have to worry about drams. We haven't seen anything measured by drams in a long time. You will see things measured by ounces. You will see things measured by teaspoons, occasionally tablespoons, and you will see things measured by milliliters. Probably key for you to remember it so that you can do your calculations for oral elixirs is that one teaspoon is equal to five milliliters and 30 milliliters is equal to um, one ounce and if you know those two things then you can and if you know how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon which is three teaspoons are in one tablespoon then you can calculate almost any any dosage oral dosage there there might be that you might come across okay another way that we measure oral elixirs is with syringes minus the needle of course um, this particular syringe you see that it is calibrated in milliliters that's ml over there and so you've got one milliliter, two, three. And so if you were to give, say, then it's measured off in uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 uh, increments in between. So if you were to give point, uh, let's say 2.4, see if I can get this accurately in there it would be right there 2.4 
milliliters could be measured with this particular syringe. On the bottom, this one is measured in milliliters on this side. That's also equivalent to cc's. And then it's also calibrated on the other side here by teaspoons. So you could use that interchangeably as well. Of course, if it's one teaspoon, we know that you could use this one and just deliver five milliliters. All right, we're going to learn how to do a simple uh, equation or calculation from this label that you see here in the corner. What we have is Librium. There's a hundred capsules in this container and each capsule is 25 milligrams. So your order is Um, let's say 75 milligrams of the Librium. And um, you would also need to know how often, but we're just going to start with that since I have limited space here. Now I'm going to start you off with, um, we have to figure out what the unit of measure is. Unit Of measure. Unit of measure is what you have to start with. I'm going to show you the very first part of dimensional analysis. I think your book probably talks about a formula de desired over half, but that gets confusing when later we do dimensional analysis. So I'm going to just start with dimensional analysis and that way we're not confused when we get into um, the more complicated problems later. Now, your unit of measure, you would think, would be milligrams, but it's not. Your unit of measure is how many capsules do I have to give in order to give the 75 milligrams. So, we're going to write down our unit of measure first. That will help us keep things straight. So, capsules is our unit of measure equals... And then we're going to put um, whatever your unit of measure in is, that goes in the first ratio as a numerator. So one capsule, I'm going to abbreviate that, what we know about one capsule is that it contains 25 milligrams. Now, in every, in all the succeeding uh, ratios, Whatever is in your denominator must also go in the next numerator. So this must be milligrams. And in this particular problem, it is our um, ordered dose, 75 milligrams. And then this would be 1 equals. That way, we can cancel out our milligrams. And we're left with capsules, which is what we want to be left with down here because that's our unit of measure. In other words, how many capsules we'll have to give in order to give the 75 milligrams. Now we can reduce this fraction. We know that 25 goes into 25 one time, into 75 three times. So we take one times three is three. One times one is one. And that means we're gonna give three capsules. So that is the very beginning part of your dimensional analysis and gives you your answer of three capsules. All right, let's do another one. Although with this one, it's going to be, um, you've got your, your dosage strength is 125 milligrams in five milliliters. So your unit of measure is going to be milliliters because that's what you have to know. How many milliliters do I give in order to deliver the dose? The dose is going to be, um, oh, let's say, we'll make it easy again this time. So it's going to be c -chlor, which is another name for c c -chlor. C-chlor. 250 
milligrams. So we'll start with our unit of measure, which we already know is milliliters, equals. We know that in the numerator, we're going to have to have milliliters. And so we'll start with our dosage strength, which is 5 milliliters has 125 milligrams in it times we know that our next numerator has to be milligrams because our denominator here is milligrams and our ordered dose is 250 and that's going to be over 1 we're going to cancel out our milligrams which is going to leave us with our unit of measure which is milliliters And um, we can cancel this out. 125 goes into 125 once, goes into 250 twice. And so 2 times 5 is 10 over 1 times 1 is 1. So our answer is going to be 10 milliliters. So that is your introduction. Uh, to calculating basic dosages from your labels.